you are going to add text to this ruler for all the labels. I'm not going to do the inches. I'm just going to do the uh, centimeter, label, centimeter label because I don't have inches on my ruler. One thing I did first was I hid my ruler body. I just clicked the little eye and that hit it. I can kind of get a good feel for just the layout just with this right here. And I want to put a one right above that. So how do we do it? Well, we add, so that's shift A, and you're gonna click text. You don't need to mess around with any of the uh, modifiers here, or the originals. I'm just gonna click anywhere else, and you're gonna see text right there. Now, first thing you'll notice, if you click on the text, it's actually two dimensions, two dimensional. It's not actually three dimensional by default. Um, now, I do want it to be three dimensional, so, how do we do that? Make sure you click on the text, and you're gonna go to, nope, nope. Ah, oh, there we go. So you click on that, um, what do we call that? Object Data Properties. Uh, you're gonna go, uh, not shape, Geometry, there we go. Extrude is what you need. So extrude is adds depth. And as you increase this, it gets thicker and thicker. What's a reasonable value? It's up to you. Uh, you can't extrude negative, but I'm just gonna go with, I think 0.1 will be okay for me. Now, how do you edit the actual text it is different. There's a lot of other options. Uh, I will align it to the center and you can see what that does. It nicely makes the uh, text centered at your origin, which is very useful for what we're about to do. So we don't need to play around with this anymore. We do need to go to edit mode, so you can hit tab to get into edit mode. There we go, I had to click over here. When you're in edit mode, this isn't obvious, but you actually are controlling a cursor right here. The cursor, if you look, looks kind of like an eye. It's not actually, uh, it's just representing where the cursor is. It won't show up. It's tempting to hit enter when you're finished typing, but what that actually does, it puts you on the next line. You don't want to do that. You want to hit either tab or get out of edit mode somehow. So now we have a one, and if we zoom in, we see that is lined up, the origin's nicely lined up right in the center of the bottom right there and I want it to appear at the top of this cylinder. There's a couple ways to do it. Because everything we're doing is laid out in nice uh, whole numbers, basically, for locations. The Y is not a whole number, but the XC position is a whole number. And so if I go to 10 and two for X and Z, you're gonna see two. That'll line it up nicely right there. Now, of course, the eye is in the wrong spot. It's right in the middle, so I got to move this up quite a bit. I think I have some snapping on. Um, not a big deal. All right. Now that it's in position, you can see it's way too small, so I'm going to play around with the scale. I'm going to just go 5, 5. Now, if you do the Z scale on 5, it'll probably be taller than you want it to be, so I'm going to scale that back to 1. Uh, maybe I'll go two. All right, so that's in position right there. And I'm, again, trying to recreate the one, two, three, all the way up to 10. And I will put the centimeter CM mark in there as well. I think this is pretty good. Uh, the only gauge I'm really going on is how thick that line is compared to how thick the one is, and the, at least for me on here, I made this cylinder a little thicker than the other cylinders, a larger radius. And it's the one is similar to that. Don't worry about the font and all that stuff. That's totally fine. So I'm pretty happy with where this is and the size and all that. And if you want to look at with the ruler body in there, you can see. Now this is kind of embedded halfway into. It's probably easier to see with out x-ray vision, okay. You can see that it's basically embedded, let me turn off snapping, that's annoying. It's embedded halfway into the actual ruler body, which is kind of tricky to see. 
you can move it up if you want to so it's perfectly flush and I think that would be 2.2 nope what in the world anyways you can use snapping and align it perfectly I'm actually just gonna let it it does look like it's up too high I'm going to put it so it's halfway embedded into the ruler itself. I realize now the one doesn't stick up as high as the cylinder, but that's okay. Uh, this doesn't need to be exactly perfect in every way. All right, so I got the one done. Uh, let's give this a proper name. So F2, I'm going to call it text one for the one text. I will be putting it into ruler one because I don't want 10 texts sitting out here. Uh, before I do that though, well, I'll do that actually right now. So just drag and drop right into ruler one. They are alphabetical in here, which is you can't make this at the top is alphabetical order. There is a nice cheat. You can always put an underscore is one way to alphabetically put something at the top. All right, so text one, I'm gonna duplicate shift D. There we go. So now we can move it over. I'm intentionally not telling you all my shortcuts here because I do want you to remember them. Uh, we're going to first rename this into text two. And of course I want it to be a two. So we're going to edit mode. And that weird little thing looks like a second I that just popped up is again the cursor. So if I type two, you'll see it goes one, two, but of course I just want a two. And uh, this is where that center alignment is really nice because the origin point is going to be right in the middle of your text. And that's all I need to do. So tab out of edit mode and back to object mode. All right. The only problem is my text two is inside ruler one. I want it inside ruler two so I can drag it down to ruler two and you'll see that it shows up in the bottom of ruler two. All right. You can keep going the same way, get all the rest. Uh, what I do want to do is duplicate text one for the centimeter marker and X and we're going to go to edit mode. We want centimeter, but not with the one. All right. Hit tab to get out. Okay. I'm going to move this a little bit over as to exactly where. That actually looks pretty close. Now, if you notice, I'm making the mirror image. Uh, my markings are at the bottom. So it's, I'm kind of like making the centimeters where the inches appear. Uh, that's not a big deal. As long as it's laid out accurately, that's totally fine. So I think we're pretty good here. Uh, this is the centimeter marker. So I do want to call it text CM. I don't want it to be in ruler one. I want it to be right here next to ruler body. And you might think, ah, oh, we we'll drag it down. But if you look, I can't actually, okay, I lied. I can just drop it there. Uh, before it wasn't letting me do that. Control Z is undo. So what I did before is I dragged it up to ruler, the ruler collection, and that put it down there. All right, so there is how you're gonna label it. And of course, you should be able to just duplicate these, put them into ruler three, four, five, et cetera. Here's a nice little summary. There's 10 now. These aren't triangles, but the reason they use a triangle icon is because things are created using triangulation. We'll cover that a little more in, uh, later on, but you can actually see it happening very nicely in this wireframe. You see there's a bunch of triangles formed right here. Uh, these are actually made with quads, but let's not talk about um, the geometry too detailed right now. Uh, this should get you started to create finish creating your ruler right here. So just make the numbers all the way through 10. Now I did have to make my ruler a little bit longer than the last mark. So yeah, my ruler body, if I made it exactly 100 millimeters long, you'll notice that basically the last mark is like falling off the ruler. That's not good. Uh, so I just went with 103, give me three extra millimeters. I may make it a little shorter, a little longer. Once I put the 10 is going to require more space than the last little mark. So I may have to play around with this a little bit. The right side of your ruler is going to be a little long. 
However, your left side does need to look just like this. Well, it needs to look just like your ruler here, but there is no mark for the zero centimeter. There's only a mark for one through, well, I guess 100 in here. So again, there's no uh, cylinder here at the zero marker, only you know one, two, three, etc.